you will not be a perfect React Native developer until you have to know how to create responsive screens because it's very important skills that you must have. Let me give you examples. We have here three simulators, iPhone 15 Pro Max and iPhone 13 and iPhone SE third generation. Let's remove this code. Let's make this extra like this. Let's create a component. Let's replace this with save area view. And let's add an image here. Image, the source of it is gonna be this file, URI. The source of it is gonna be this URL. And let's give it some styling. Style, height, 400 and width 380 where is the image maybe i copied the wrong url okay so let's paste it again so now we have this image look if you see here it's not responsive if you if you see here in iphone pro max 15 we have here a space in iphone 13 we have here a small space and in iPhone SA third generation, we don't have any spaces, so that's a bad approach. And look also at the height. The space here is smaller than space here. We want to, to make this image is responsive. I mean, it will be have the same height and width in all devices, even iPad or Android devices. How to do this? That's what are that's what you're gonna learn today. We're gonna. You're gonna learn how to create a responsive UI that will be that will match all the screens. So first, let's install this package. Just type React Native Size Matters. Okay. Let's open this link. Let's go down. Let's install it. Yarn add React Native Size Matters. Let's go to our terminal. Open a new terminal. After installing this library, you should install the BODs too. So you have to go to CD iOS and run BOD install. And wait until your BODs installed. Now we installed the package. Let me rerun the apps real quick. Now, after we installed this package and installed the BODs, let's use this package. Let's go to documentations and see what we get here. First, we should copy this line of code to import those three functions. Scale and vertical scale and moderate scale. This scale function is gonna return to us a linear scaled result of provided size based on the device width screen. I mean this dimension, the width of the, of the device. And the vertical scale, it based on the screen height. I mean this vertical, this is screen height. So if you wanna use something horizontal, just use scale. If you wanna use something vertical, just use vertical scale. Let me show you. If you see at this image, we have here a space and we have here a, a big space we, and here we don't have anything. Let me replace this 380 with scale and press save. Now, if you have a look, the three are similar the three don't have any spaces. Let's make, for example, 300. Look, the three has the same space. Look, this is space and this is space and this is space. Those are similar. Let's use the height. Let's make this, for example, 600 of height. Look at this. We have here a small space. We have here a bigger space and we have 
the best space here. So it's not responsive. To use responsive with height, just use vertical scale like here. Vertical, use this function, vertical, vertical scale, and put your number inside it and press save. When we press save, let me see again. Look, the three are similar. The three have the same spaces. The image is responsive in the three screens. Let's make it 300. Look, that looks better, isn't it? So that's scale for width and that's vertical scale for height. What's moderate scale? This moderate scale is a scale but not depend on, not depend nor the height of a screen nor the width of a screen. It doesn't depend on the height or the width. It's something moderate. For example, if the, the normal scale, this scale, will increase the space of 100 pixels, the moderate scale will not increase it with 100. So let me explain it like he here. Scale. If it will increase by 100, for example, Moderate scale will increase, let me see, uh, 50 or 50 for example. And also this function has a great feature. You can put the scale you want. For example, if you just replace this scale with moderate scale and you have here 300, you can add here a comma and type a number that you will be the added to multiplication of this number. For example, let me add a half and press save. If you look at here, you will notice that it got be increased. Let me just type one. Look, it got increased too. So moderate scale is a moderate then scale and you also can increase it by multiplication of the second argument. So I recommend you to use it in margin and padding because this moderate scale it's something between the height and width of the screen okay for example if we just want to add some padding here just add moderate scale of 50. let us see look the space here is responsive i want to mention something if you see here we have here a long words. We want to create a shortcut for those words. You can use this as keyword and you can use S. Okay. Let's make it RS. Okay. And let's make this as RV. Okay. It will work at the same at the same you can create your shortcuts here using as keyword but it's not needed to do this because this react native size matters provide us a great a great shortcuts let me show you you have here s it's a shortcut for scale and vs it's a shortcut for vertical scale and ms it's a shortcut for moderate scale. Let me replace those with them and you're gonna and you will not notice any difference. Look, it's the same. It's the same. Let me add this for text too. If we just make this text font size of, for example, 200 look it's not responsive the space here is greater than here is greater than here this text must be here smaller than iphone 15 pro max because this because the dimensions of this device are smaller so we want to to use moderate scale here so let's wrap this inside ms ms is a shortcut for moderate scale that we imported from resize matter and let's press save now if you see here now this text 
match all the screens let me show you the difference between it with scale and between it with no scale let's remove this image on, or let's comment it now look at here at the top here that's the resized text it appear as it must be I mean when the device get bigger the text get bigger when the device get smaller the text get smaller it's not a fixed or constant I want to mention something we are creating a big project so we want to create a good structure for this project I don't like our code to be like this this import in all the files is not a good idea it's better to store those import inside functions helper functions in the styles folder and use it whenever you want in all the app so here in our folders let's create a folder we have here a styles folder if you don't know how i created this structure just check the previous video so in styles files let's create a file so in styles folder let's create a file called responsive dot ts and let's create three functions const rs equals to size and this size is a number this number is a typescript keyword to define this parameter is a number okay and let's return our scale function we import this scale from resize matters and let's add the size here okay let's create let's export this function export const rs let's create another function export const rv equals to it also take a size and this size is a number and it return a vertical scale of this size okay finally let's export this function rms that's shortcut for responsive moderate scale and it take also a size this size is a number and another parameter called factor this factor is a number also but but this factor is not required is not a must i mean we can use it and we cannot use it and let's return our m moderate scale of size and factor now let's press save and let's use those functions in all the app because we are creating a big project so this approach is very bad approach and we use store those values inside constants inside functions and export them and use them through all the app so now let's remove this and let's use our functions and instead of ms let's just type r m s here and here and let's remove this text let's get back our image inside vertical scale just type rv and instead of this s just type r s we imported those three functions from our responsive let's see that looks perfect that was our responsive lesson see you in next lesson and don't forget like and subscribe thanks for watching and see you in next lesson